I'm lying in bed. I roll onto my side, and the most beautiful woman I've ever seen is beside me. I don't know how I got here. I'm just here, but hey, I'm not complaining. The pillow's cool, the sheets are soft, and then there's her. Who is she? I wonder if she'll let me... Never mind. Can I get up and move around? I can't remember. As soon as I think that thought, I'm up and walking toward the bedroom door. I turn back. That's weird. One minute I'm in bed, then the next I'm by the door. My palms are sticky with sweat. I open the door, my hand slipping off the doorknob. I see a kitchen, a lavish one. Is this her house or mine? I walk into the dining room and try to look out the windows. I can't see through them, uh, pitch, pitch black. I'm having a panic attack. Drank too much last night and can't remember. That, that's it. I walk towards the kitchen. Why? There's something I need to do, I think? I look up. There's a gaping hole in the ceiling. I take one step closer and a dozen bats fly out, attacking me. I run back to the room and slam the door behind me, breathing hard. The room doesn't quite look the same. It's darker somehow and dirtier. My legs wobble as I try to find my keys, phone, anything. The bathroom door bursts open. The woman who was in bed with me is standing there. Her face is gray and, and there are sores on her cheeks and forehead. Fuck! She's holding scissors, and I realize she, she, she's naked. Something is hanging out of her. My eyes widen. Is that... Double fuck it is. Honey. She says in a raspy tone. Can you help me feed my baby? She snips the umbilical cord and comes toward me. The baby is covered in bruises, stillborn. Stay back! What the fuck is going on? I say. I, I don't understand what's happening. She answers with a demented cackle. The baby falls to the floor in a heap. I circle around her, and the baby starts contorting itself and stares at me with red eyes and sharp teeth. Shark teeth. I almost shit myself. The dead baby gets on all fours and bolts toward me. I hardly make it to the bathroom in time to lock the door. They're pounding on the door now. And it's breaking. Only a matter of time before they break in. The door <laughs> splinters and cracks form. There's nothing I can do now. Oh. 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 I think I remember now. 
That's when I ripped the headset off and threw it across the room. Hey, man, that thing is worth $8,000, said an engineer over the intercom. Then another engineer. So what did you think about the VR in general? Was it immersive, believable, buggy? <sighs> Too intense, I muttered, clutching my knees and rocking slightly. Too, too fucking intense. I couldn't, I couldn't remember who I was.